I don't give a damn who knows it. You are the one, the ones I truly be. Won't you listen to me? I see a bunch of abstract stuff that I won't get flagged, right? So that's what I do. Because y'all know I can't help it. Anyway. <laughs> So, YouTube, uh, how dare y'all make it this difficult? But anyway, by now, most people know that the Republican Party has got no more shame in this game. It's just a full-out racist, um, racist party. Um, it's not your mama's Republican Party. It's not your uh, Ronald Reagan, even. George Bush Republican Party is going total full out rogue. Okay, so now that we've um we come one with that, we should already know that anybody who still feels that Donald Trump, so his base, we must be dummy down to the point that people can sit there and listen to lies all day, be projected on, and that's what I was trying to tell y'all. It wasn't that, you know. I was such a lover of Joe Biden. It was just that this nonsense is off the chain. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to your family, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. I want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Um, y'all please do some, let's do some housekeeping. If you look in the description box below, you'll see my cash app. You'll see my email address. If you want to make a donation to the channel, it don't have to be much. It's just whatever you feel, you know, I'm, you know, um, I, I, I can uh, use to help continue to grow the production. I would really appreciate it. OK, now, with that being said, we get that out the way. Um, There's a little join button on the site, I believe. I should be checking that just to make sure. But if that join button is enabled, and you also can join uh, the membership, and there's perks when you join the membership, okay? So, now we got that out the way. Y'all know by now Donald Trump is full-blown racist party, right? The Republican Party and them continuing to use this guy, you know, as the uh, leader-in-chief, this cult that we're dealing with now, uh, like Jim Jones... Uh, all the rest of the cults, um, Dave Koresh, who else do we have? Well, oh, let's let's think about all the cults we had. A lot of them ended in death with people killing themselves. Jim Jones come to mind for me because that was somebody, like I said before, I had firsthand knowledge of actually seeing. I saw him when he came to Savior's Day. I can't believe it. And I'm still in awe because... My brother called it. He called it. He said, something is wrong with that guy. He said, you notice that he speaks, and it seemed like he's speaking. He's a, super, a supreme narcissist that he's speaking for the people, his people that came on all these bus loads. That must have been about six or seven bus loads full of these people from the pimple of these people's temple members. And he just spoke to them without them... Um, you know, saying anything. He said, each and every one of y'all going to be there. And blah, blah, blah. the things he was saying was just a little far-fetched that my brother, um, he spoke on it. And lo and behold, a year later, whatever, two years later, this guy was responsible for um, all those deaths and leading those people to the slaughter. Mostly black and brown bodies that went and allowed him to kill him. Um, and this is what's happening right now with the Republican Party. You got a bunch of people who are just out of control. You know, anybody that can read can fact check. So anybody that sit here listening to all these lies and not even thinking that, you know, is this true? Or thinking that, the okay, yeah, maybe the world was bad. But everything got this damn bad since Donald Trump stuck his game show ass up in there. Excuse my language. He done brought his game show butt up in there. Now that when he comes, everything, every institution, every, well, in a way it's true. But him, 
who's a crook. I mean, if that came from somebody that at least had a noble background, you could probably listen to it. But from a crook, you, you, you know, hey, game recognize game. So how y'all going to recognize this game, but you can't recognize that game? Donald Trump is a bully. All his uh, people that follow him are bullies. They have this bully behavior that's coming out now. You see it, the anti-maskers chasing parents that are walking to school with their children. Because I wish one of y'all would walk up to me if I was taking my grandbaby to school. I really would. Because I would catch a case for one of you nuts. Anyway, this right here is totally insane. But it is the, the face of a new Republican Party. They bold. So these are not the kind of people you can shrink from. You better shine. And as soon as they come to you with that madness, you better b buck back because they are very um, outrageous now. And it's not a high road with these people. It's a death road. OK, if you don't fight back, it's a death road. OK, so with that being said, if you look at the latest madness, this guy said that that um, they don't have the spine. Donald Trump attacks Mitch McConnell and the Senate Republicans for giving Biden more time to raise the debt ceiling as he warns of a socialist calamity at Iowa rally. Now, he's so stupid, he can't even have uh, pretty much have a conversation, but he's got the nerve to be doing an assessment. Can anybody tell me any uh, work, any policies, any... Besides um, the money to the rich, anything that he's done for this country as a whole, can anybody tell me what Donald Trump has done? Because I'm still waiting. He messed, he messed up everything. And he brought out the worst in us. He's, he separated us more. He's divided the country. And we'll never be able to come back from the gaslighting. Now, all of a sudden, all at once, these dummies think that the world is so bad that we have to have our elections uh, keep re being recalled all over uh, the country. How crazy is this? Now, that's one aspect of it. The next aspect is, what the hell are we going to do about it? That's the next question. The next question becomes, what the hell are we going to do about it? Are they going to? hold this guy, these these uh, senators that um, are accountable, that has something to do with the January 6th uh, insurrection. All these books that are coming out on this nutcase and the fact that he tried to actually thwart a legitimate election and he don't go to jail. That's going to be setting a bad president. Ain't nobody going to want to follow no rules after that. Nobody. If you don't do something with this rogue madman that you should have did something with when he first took that ad out on those boys back there in New York and never apologized. Okay? The 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 boy, the young men that were falsely accused, uh, the, the Central Park innocent young men, when he never apologized for taking out that ad and these fools allowed him to run for president and win, he's an embarrassment. And he's not even in office and he's still an embarrassment and he's still wreaking havoc. And y'all act like it ain't nothing we can do about it. Well, there's something we can do about it and I want to see if it's going to be done. It better be done. Because the House Select Committee committee, I'm sorry, it tracks down and serves ex-Trump aide Dan Scavino with a subpoena over information regarding the Capitol Six riots. Good. Now you got to come after Mark Meadows. Got to get his behind. You got to get Steve Bannon. You got to get all these people. These people are corrupt. And y'all always talk about how disrespectful and how destructive Farrakhan is. That's your opinion. But you got to agree when he said that if you put Donald Trump in office, you got to agree with this. 
If you're not part of the racist clan, you got to agree with just one thing. Because even the worst liar tell the truth sometime, right? Mr. Farrakhan said, if you vote for Donald Trump, we go into hell in a rocket ship. Tell me he lied. Tell me he lied. When you can look at any of these people or any of these countries overseas and listen to the news that they have when they're talking about America compared to what we hear coming out of Reuters and AP. Number lies. But when you go over to, to the continent or somewhere else and you're listening to the news, man, it's a calamity coming in America and it's pretty much here. You're looking at the food prices going up. You're looking at a country on the brink of destruction. And you still want to fight your way out of it. God bless America. For real, for real, for real. For real, for real. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I want to know what y'all think. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I've been, because I've been around a while. I've been around forever. And I wrote the very first song. No, I didn't. I'm, that's that's a lie. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please subscribe, please share, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.